We're here today to talk about and describe the procedures that we'll be using for our decontamination buckets that will be issued to every engine company. Our goal with these decontamination buckets is to gross decon the firefighters PPE at the fire scene to prevent bringing the contamination back into the apparatus and then bringing it back to the firehouse. As Joe Gunnawick talked about in the video earlier, we want to talk about wearing our air, washing our gear, and washing ourselves. This is going to be a combination of washing our gear at the scene and getting any of the decontaminants off of our neck, throat, and groin at the scene to help reduce the cancer-causing contaminants. The decontamination bucket that each engine company will be assigned is a five-gallon bucket that you'll carry with you at all times. In each bucket is a 10-foot section of garden hose, a regular garden spray nozzle, an adapter, either a two and a half to garden hose or an inch and a half to garden hose, which will connect straight to the pump panel, and two scrub brushes that you'll use to scrub your gear and your mask, face piece, and uh, bracket off with. The reason every engine company is being assigned a decontamination bucket is our goal is to remove as much fire debris and toxic particles off of our PPE and our equipment prior to getting back on the apparatus and coming back to quarters. We do not want to track the contamination into the apparatus, which we're in and out of all day long, and back into quarters where we're living. Right now, we're going to give a quick demonstration on the procedure that we're going to use at the fire scene to decontaminate the firefighter. We've got Adam Wolf with us today. He's going to help us out. We're going to simulate like Adam is covered in insulation, char, fire debris. He's come out of the building, come over to the apparatus. We've got our hose hooked up to the pump panel. Our goal is to knock off all the major contaminants off of his gear. We're going to work from the head down. We're going to do the front. We're going to do the back. Any big heavy debris, we're going to brush off while we're doing this. So we're going to go ahead, rinse it off. We're not using a lot of pressure, just trying to get all the big contaminants off. We're going to get all the way down. We're going to have Adam spin around. A major point of emphasis, we're going to try to get as much of the debris off of the mask. This is one of the major areas where a lot of the debris collects up. Clean the bottle off. Spray down in the cracks and crevices of the bracket. We can have Adam pick his feet up, clean the bottom of his boots. That's our basic decontamination procedure. We're trying to get the majority of the heavy debris off the firefighter before they get back on the apparatus. The biggest area of concern when decontaminating the firefighter is the head, face, neck, and groin area. These are the areas of highest absorption of cancer-causing materials. Right now, when firefighters come out of a fire, one of the first things they usually do is they take their hood off. They're hot. They're sweaty. They take that hood that's covered in contaminants. They wipe their face, head, and neck. When they do this, all they're doing is taking and grinding those contaminants into their skin, into their pores, those most sensitive areas of absorption. In the bucket, we will have packs of oversized wipes that the firefighter can use to wipe off the sensitive areas, the glands, mostly in the neck, around the back, on the face. And if you can get to a place that's private, we want to try to wipe down in our groin area also. We want to try to remove as much of the sweat and contaminants off of our skin as possible at the scene as early as possible. The most important part of decontaminating ourselves is decon at the scene with the wipes, cleaning our head, face, neck, and groin areas. The second most important part is back at the firehouse. Once we return to quarters, removing all the dirty gear and equipment off the apparatus, getting it cleaned off, and then getting into the shower. We want a nice hot shower, soap and water, open our pores up, and get the contaminants off of ourselves. The third and final component of our decontamination is getting back to the firehouse, taking the gear we've gross deconned at the scene, getting it hung up to dry. If the gear is extremely dirty, after deconning at the scene, send it into central stores, let them professionally clean it. One of the things we can do at the firehouse ourselves is collecting up all the hoods from the members that were at the scene that were contaminated, washing them in the wash machine at the firehouse. Take your second set of gear, get it on the track, get a clean hood. Everyone's got two sets of full gear. Wear your clean hood. We want to try to prevent getting the contaminants from rubbing in on our sensitive areas. Remember, safety is everyone's responsibility. You don't want to get cancer like so many of our members have. 
If you don't believe me, talk to Joe Gunnelly. Wear your air, wash your gear, wash yourself. Thank you.